everyone, it's Rachel back again with another reaction video. Today I will be reacting to a new single from Secrets. It is called Iron Hearted. In the last year, Secrets has also put out two other singles, My Mind, Myself, and I, as well as Come Down. Come Down was definitely my favorite of the two. That song is just fantastic. I was super impressed by it, but both are really good. Secrets is in the process of writing an album, so that is what these must be coming off of, but I haven't heard any updates on that or any dates or anything like that. So not totally sure. They didn't get released on Spotify together or anything, so take that for what it's worth. But Regardless of all of that, I'm definitely excited to check this out. They've put out some awesome stuff. If you haven't heard of Secrets, I would definitely check out their recent singles as well as what they've put out in the past. But today we're going to be checking out this track, so let's just get straight into it. It looks like a video that says lyric video has a little visualizer thing was uploaded. So I will put the Instagram handle up on the screen of the person who made this video as well as link the original video in the description so that you can go give that some views if you're interested. So yeah, let's get into it. Just gonna end 
something like that. Damn. This is where we say goodbye! And then they do say goodbye. <laughs> Man, that was sick. All right, Secrets, Ironhearted, let's discuss. Another really solid track from Secrets. I think Come Down is still my favorite of the three that they've put out in the last year. This one is probably my second favorite. I really enjoyed the lyrics on it. If you read through them, the writing on here was fantastic. So lyrically, I think this was my favorite track of the three singles, but still not my favorite musically. Anyway, right before the music really kicks in, it has the clear vocals that say done believing and then that's when you hear that guitar jamming along and I started feeling it right there for sure. Along with the guitar grooving, you hear the cymbal going, so definitely a solid start once you get through that first minute there. I really liked the accent from the drumming on the vocals when it got to the part where it says, cause you don't talk and it breaks up the lines kind of. That part to me was one of my favorites. That was something I really loved about Come Down. So I was glad to see that in there as well. I think whenever the drumming is accenting, the vocals like that, it sounds so good. So I appreciated that on here. And the same with the bass, the bass really adds to that part as well. They're all in sync, hitting down on the same parts. It's broken up vocally, lyrically on there. So that was probably my favorite part. I just wanna go back and re-listen to that part of the song specifically. The chorus was solid. It was what I would expect from Secrets. It sounded a little bit poppy on the clean vocals there with high pitched clean vocals. It sounded good to me, solid, nothing out of this world or anything, but no complaints from me there. I thought it was catchy, definitely. I could see it being another song this year that gets stuck in my head with the chorus on it for sure. I really enjoyed the clean vocals on the part where it says unfortunate one, where it drops off from a verse in the unclean vocals to unfortunate one. Also, with Wade's unclean vocals, he has this way with certain words where he just makes it flow where I feel like certain vocalists wouldn't and it just sounds really good the way he makes the words flow. I don't really know how to uh, elaborate on that, but just something I noticed throughout this song as well as the other singles. And of course, that ending breakdown was just what I was looking for. I loved it, although it was super short and definitely unexpected for me. I didn't realize we were at the end of the song quite yet, though, but it was interesting placement. I wonder what the next song on the album will be like. Like, does it go into another heavier song or the ending breakdown, though? That was what I am here for. So overall, definitely a really good song, another one for the playlist and another one to make it difficult for me to rank the singles of 2020. Let me know what you thought in the comments and if you have a song that you want to be added to the list that I work off of when I'm doing request-based videos, I will put the links in the description as well as the link to the invite for the Discord server. There's a lot of fun conversation and whatnot going on in there if you wanted to check it out. And if you're enjoying the style of content that I'm posting on my YouTube channel, I post more music-based content on my Instagram. My handle is at Wolf and the Sea, and I will put it up here on the screen for you. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.